Good evening, and bienvenue, my fond fair rouge raiders. This is your humble narrator, Diomedes Rouge, here to bring you yet another episode of What If Izuku Was the Reincarnation of Gon? Now, <clears throat> some of you may have already noticed, others may not even have noticed, and some may not even care. But I'm a little bit under the weather. So, if you fe hear any sudden pauses or having to hear me catch up or something along that nor that line, well, you know why. <laughs> I more than likely paused the video so I could go through a coughing fit and or a sneeze. Do not worry, it is not the C word. Well, it is not the C-O-V-I-D word. Believe me, I am fine. I uh, just got caught out in the rainstorm the other day and uh, had to work through an eight-hour shift. Mild cold. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Not very fun, but <sniffs> I will get over it. Had a bottle of hot sauce, I'll be good. Now, back to the show. Where we last left off, Izuku was... Ex was told by All Might that he would be training him privately and to meet him at Daguba Beach. As, well, the next day comes around, he bids his goodbyes to his mom, has his breakfast, and <laughs> straight off. And he shows up there pretty early, in fact, as All Might, well, lands there within about... Mm, ten minutes of him being there, goes, Ah, my apologies for making you w wait, young Midoriya. I thought I was going to get here early. Oh, it's no problem, All Might. I don't mind being here at all. <laughs> so, what's with all the garbage? Did you do this? No. Unfortunately, the people of this fine city have decided to use this place as a dumping ground. And, while I disapprove of it, it has provided a very excellent opportunity, young Midoriya. Huh? What's that? Simple. This will be your training ground. You will be gathering up all this garbage and moving it from one side into a nice, neat pile. Hmm. Okay. Wait, no, no hesitation, no... Talk back for like no sounds pretty standard training stuff. <sighs> like, huh. I see. But before then, would you mind me if I examined you? Huh? Oh, sure, I guess. Uh mount mine. As All Might gets closer thinking. Hmm. Willingness to train. And he already seems pretty stout as he as he, uh, pan well, no good way of saying this, pinches Izuku's arms and tests his muscle and realizes, actually quite rigid. What do you usually do? Huh? You've obviously trained your body. What do you usually do? Oh, well, you know, about 250 push-ups, 5K run, hmm, a couple of hundred sit-ups. Usually until I tire out. That's what you do. Oh, yeah. You're like 14. Yeah, and? I'm surprised at your dedication to be a hero. Mm, more or less started because I was getting bored and I really just felt like doing things. He lies because he is very... He lies, but does so because he knows that he's got to sound crazy if he says the actual reason. <laughs> I see. Very well then. So, I'll let you, I shall, well, <clears throat> no easy way of saying this. There's something I'm going to need to tell you, young Midoriya. Something I've been holding back for quite a while. Huh? What's that? As he 
walks towards the center of Dagobah Beach behind and away from prying eyes. <sighs> Young Midoriya, well, <coughs> as steam begins to roll off his body as All Might changes back into his standard, well, Toshinori Small Might form. Who are you and what did you do to All Might? I am All Might. I got injured a long ways back. As he rolls up his shirt and shows him the injury spot. I have a time limit of about three hours. After that, well, I can no longer be the symbol of peace. Or it will take a massive amount of toll on my body. Wow. That it's awesome. What? Don't get me wrong. I'm you being as injured as you are. You're still fighting for people. You're still out there trying to protect people, and you're still the number one hero even despite your injuries. It's awesome. <laughs> Why? Thank you, young man. You you don't know what that means to uh well <clears throat> anyways. The reason I'm telling you this is because at the end of your training here, once you've gotten this beach cleaned and cleared, I will be presenting you with one final task. And doing that could confirm your place as a hero. All right, All Might, I'll see what I can do. All right. I'm pretty sure you won't let me down. In fact, I know you won't. So let's get started. Right. And so, day in and day out, throughout, well, the entire, I wouldn't say about the entire time it would take, but um, considering his increased, his already dang good strength, stamina, it takes him about the third of a time it does in canon to move, to clean the Dagobah Beach. And boy does he get stacked. He, he gets some gains on him, because he not only does this training, he also continues his own training. So yeah, Izuku ain't no string bean. Granted, he wasn't one to begin with, unless you're talking about way back in canon, but he, he got some good, solid muscle mass on him now. As All Might just smiles at him and goes, Wow, I didn't expect you to be able to do all of this. And you didn't even burn yourself out during the entire time. I'm impressed, young Midoriya. Well, I learned a long time ago how to conserve my stamina for important stuff, as well as how to get it back a, good quick, a bit quicker. It's all about breathing. <laughs> Yes, well. <clears throat> Young Midoriya, mm -hmm. I want to make you my successor. Your successor? You are quirkless. Well, yeah, thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> no. Don't get me wrong. I find your ability and your drive to be a quirk to be something even greater than any quirk. But allow me to finish explaining. My quirk is known as one for it all. And as I'm sure you've probably heard, many people have tried guessing what it does, but 
allow me to tell you, my quirk wasn't mine to begin with. Huh? It was given to me by my master. And from her before her, and it was given to her before, from her master, and so on and so forth. All the way back to the first, and I do mean the first, user of it. Wow. So you're talking about a quirk that is passed down? Yes. One for all acts as a quirk enhancer. It takes what's there and naturally increases it. It makes it stronger. It makes it better. For me, it increased my physical capabilities. Just like it will for you. Okay. So... What do I have to do? Well, for now we're going to be focusing on increasing your training load. Okay, sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mine really surprised, but I'm used to that to, to used to that by now. What, did you think I was going to ask from it? ask it for you right away since I already did this? Well, most people might. Don't get me wrong, it just it sounds very important, and some that shouldn't be taken for granted. And, honestly, I don't real. I need to think about it myself. <laughs> You're very wise, young Midoriya. Very well. But as you are right now, while I feel that you could grasp one for all with relative, well, ease, I want to be certain. So we're going to increase your training regime a bit more, with a bit more rigorous endeavors. You're going to follow me to one of my pupils from one of my former sidekicks. From there, well, he'll be able to see more about you. Alright, sounds good to me. As they both go and travel to the Night Eye Agency. Minor pause here. Some of you may be wondering... Why on earth is All Might acting like this? He doesn't act like this in the anime. And I'm going, yes, you are right. This is not the All Might from the anime. This one's a lot more cautious. This one's a lot more careful. This one, well, he doesn't covet all for all, one for all. He wants to make sure that it's passed down to someone who can fully understand and respect its power. And while he's sure Izuku is the one who can do that, he's wanting to make absolutely sure that this thing won't be a burden to him. That it won't harm him more than it helps him. If nothing else, he knows that Izuku could probably be a minor hero in and of his own right. Give him a bit of support equipment and such of that nature. But... He has a feeling that he could be the new symbol of peace if trained properly. So that's the reason he's going through all these links. Anyways, back to this. <clears throat> As Izuku is brought to the Night Eye Agency and is brought up to, well, Night Eye. Toshinori introduces... Well, I'll proceed from there. Hello, my old friend. Sir, it's a pleasure to see you again. And who is this? Ah, allow me to introduce you to... Izuku Midoriya. 
He's one I've been training to inherit one for all. Are you sure? He seems to be a normal kid. I am. Uh, he has great drive and, well, he has a great personality. He isn't greedy, and he shows a lot of promise. But I also wanted to be sure, considering you are also involved in this, I wanted you to see him, and know, and give me your opinion on him. Because while this is ultimately my decision, you are a close friend, and your opinion is valid. <laughs> I, I thank you. <clears throat> Very well. Would you mind sitting down? Okay. As Zuku sits down and looks at Night Eye, and Night Eye does his thing where he examines the possible future before him. And holy cow, the things he sees when he looks into young Izuku. It both fills him with pride as well as terrifies him. It shakes him a little as some cold sweat drips down his back. As he... <coughs> <coughs> Sir, what did you see? Are you okay? I'm fine. I believe we should probably talk in private. Hmm? What's going on? Something happened? No, uh, Izuku, just sit here and relax for a few moments. Here. All Might hands him a card and tells him, go get some snacks out of the vending machine. Okay. As... All Might walks over with <clears throat> Sir Night Eye. What happened? What did you see? He has great potential. And I see a lot, and I do mean a lot, of pain and happiness that are going to happen to him, that could possibly happen to him. So many different scenarios, so many different things. It was overwhelming. But he looked like he was facing them. But it looked like... What? It looked like at the end he was facing off against some... Against... All for one. What? He's dead. Telling you what I saw, sir. Thank you for letting me know. I'll have to keep a better eye out. As they get back, they see quite literally, well, Azuku with several, several dozen things of snacks as he's currently devouring them. He goes, Well, kind of glad I'm rich, otherwise this might have made me upset. As Azuko's just going, mm, mm, Thank you. Mm. Handing All Might back his car, just... <sighs> well, good to see you are... I'm glad to see you aren't... Fi of aren't, well... Second guessing and what's on one's generosity. Oh. <laughs> uh. Reminds me a little bit of you, Night Eye. Hmm? What are you talking about? Oh, I remember when you used to eat like that. <laughs> if I remember correctly, that. What was it? <clears throat> The little fish with the little 
fish with uh, red bean paste. Uh, <clears throat> okra. Yes, the taiyaki. I, I I get it. Don't 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 bring up bad memories. All oh, my, oh they weren't bad. I mean, <laughs> uh, quite a few, quite a bit of money was spent on them, but nothing bad about them. My young friend, my young friend. Uh, <sighs> to be fair, I had a different person set up in line to possibly be your successor. Oh, Mirio, he's a, <clears throat> he's a third year at UA currently, very strong, his quirk is also very useful, figured he would be a good replacement as he's already similar to you in quite a few ways, but... I'll trust in your guidance. <laughs> Thank you, my old friend. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse us, we have some more training to do. As for the next six months, Izuku is put under a lot more of a harsher training regime. As All Might actually brings him to a <clears throat> specialized, well, he uses the Night Eye Agency in their specialized gym there. As quite a few different pros actually see him there. Well, the ones involved with the Night Eye Agency see him training and working and see, well, his just overall dedication to it. Well, he may not be the strongest one there. He's certainly putting in a lot of effort, and he does catch quite a few different pros' eyes. And, well, <clears throat> that and the sheer fact that he's that he currently has a walking skeleton man walking along with him. <clears throat> small jabs at small might. Helping him with his training and such doesn't hurt. <laughs> because, you know, don't want to appear as the symbol of peace just to have to walk out and deflate. <laughs> and right as UA is about to kick in, about two days beforehand, All Might says, All right, I believe it's time. Hmm? He plucks out one of his hairs and he brings it towards him and he says, Eat this. Now. Mm -hmm. No. What? No. I ain't eat it. No, no, no. Ew. Ew. Why do you want me to eat your hair? That's creepy. No, Izuku. Yes, it is creepy. Listen to me. Listen. One for all is transferred for, through... Well. <clears throat> it has to be transferred through physical means. Either... Blood transference, or in this case, hair. You do that, well, wait. Why not do the blood thing? What? I mean, it make, can make it a bit more deeper meaning. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go that route? I figured you might be a bit squeamish. About blood? No, I'm used to I'm used to losing blood. What? Never mind. <clears throat> As he takes out a small pocket knife and cuts his hand and he passes it to Izuku saying, Well, are you ready? Without even a moment's hesitation, he glides the blade across his across the palm of his hand and goes Always. 
as they slap their hands together in a manly handshake, as Kirishima would say. The blood mixes and, well, transfers the power of one for all to Izuku. Now, let's bandage you up and you'll get some rest. Right. Oh yeah, by the way, did, 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 Izuku, he, he now very stack. He, uh, he a lean, mean, cr uh, punching machine. Like, if we're talking straight up, uh, uh, stats here. Before One for All, he could have probably entered into the Junior MMA MMA League and probably have claimed a lightweight title. <laughs> <coughs> but now we're about to see some real fun stuff. Now meet me out here tomorrow. This will be your last day of training. And we'll see what you can do. Right. As Izuku falls asleep that night, he, his body surges with energy as one for all becomes fully connected and integrated with him. And then finally, the next day arrives and he shows up at Dagobah Beach. And All Might states, all right, now... Focus your power. Feel the energy coursing through your body. Channel it. And then let it out. As he actually goes into a more relaxed stance. <sighs> Come on, go. Just like back home. Feel the energy flowing through you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let it flow. Let it flow. As suddenly energy begins wafting off of him. As minor green sparks of electricity begin to shoot off from his body. As All Might's going, huh, what are you going to do? As he doubles up his fist and in a quick flash of movement, <laughs> lets loose a powerful force as he jabs causing a large ripple to cut through the water of the cut through the sand and the water of the beach as it goes out and out and out for a solid 80 yards before dying off as Zuku just stands there going whoa that was It looks like you have good control over it right off the bat. That's good to hear. I was worried you might actually break something. <laughs> really? Well, there's a reason we went through all the training and such. It wasn't just to teach you how to appreciate the power I was going to give you. One for all is a very powerful quirk that gets more powerful as it's passed down. If you weren't careful, and if you weren't strong enough, it could have blown your arm off. What the heck? Relax. I knew you'd be strong enough to handle it by the time we were done. And if I would have told you that right off the bat, you might have freaked out. Of course I would have! I could have done... Oh. <laughs> Relax, Izuku. You're more than capable, and you're more than ready. Just don't overdo it, and keep yourself to a nice, steady rate. 
don't try and overdo yourself and overexert yourself right off the bat. This power is new to you. It's going to take time for you to master it. You've already mastered your old strength, but now it's enhanced beyond what you can even fathom. You need to be a lot gentler with how you do things from here on out. Treat the world as if it's made of cardboard or paper mache. Understand? Will do, sir. Thank you, young Midoriya. Huh? Thank you for being the perfect heir that I knew you would be. After that little heart-sapping moment, good God, I felt like my teeth were aching from how sweet that was. Now, we move on to the UA Entrance Exam! Zam, zam. <sighs> the written test. There's no easy way of putting this. Izuku be many things. In the original canon, Izuku very smart. As gone. He's he's wise. He's got street smarts, well, mostly. He's got some book smarts. Intelligent is not the word we would use to describe him, though. Battle-wise? Sorry. Completely fine. Testing-wise. He gets like 20... He gets like, uh... 13th place. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 not, the, he not the best student. And to be fair, the only reason he got up that far was because, well... He, he, all Might kind of gave him a bit of kind of knocked the usual questions that would appear on there in his head as they were training. So it's less that he knows them, more that he memorized some of them. Yeah. Oof. Sorry, there have to be some trade offs. As for. Well. The whole Ida thing, he doesn't do anything to stop him. He doesn't really care. And for the whole Uraraka incident, well, he didn't trip or slip up. He's actually very confident where he places his feet. And always makes sure that he's walking in a at least a decent area where he's not going to trip. Now comes to the fun part. The combat test. You all knew it. You all wanted it. Here we are. So. For the combat test. He notices quite a few people are a bit shaken. Or a bit. Mm, tired. I wouldn't say tired. More just extremely nervous. And he proceeds to try and go and talk to them, pat them on the back, cheer them up. And, well, this is where he sees a couple of girls up towards the front. One with light brown hair, and she's a bit nervous, a little bit shaken up. And one with very light blonde hair. Yeah, you all guys who put it on the community tab and voted on the community tab, you already know where I'm going with this. You can't stop me now. <laughs> Don't worry, it's only a one ship. Trust me, I understand. As he's about to go up there and talk with them, present Mike appears on the... Uh, Announcement board stating, 
All right, students, get yourselves ready, because we are about to start these exams. As the doors begin to open up and everyone's waiting for a countdown, Izuku just goes, Pfft. hauling straight arse. Just hauling straight arse, not waiting for anything as people are going, Wait, what the heck? What's going on? What is that idiot doing? He can't charge ahead like that. That uh, He's going to get disqualified. I mean, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. As President Mike says, oh, What are you guys waiting around for? There are no countdowns in a real fight. Let's go! As everyone else starts taking off and following suit as they see quite a few busted up one... <laughs> Ones and twos right off the bat as we cut to Izuku, who's currently just having the time of his life. Jumping and moving and grooving as he's thinking, as he's not even really paying much attention to these ones and twos. As he begins remembering old times with him and Kilua during their training with Bisky and Leorio and... <laughs> Karapika, as they just, as he knuckles down, knocking the blocks off of a few one-pointers. As time progresses, the three-pointers are let loose. People are beginning to struggle a little bit more with them, but he's easily dispatching them. As... We cut to the stands where the teachers are watching. And we see All Might, Nezu, as well as... <clears throat> oh, who should I let this one be? Let me get the die. Alright. Counters are set, and... Huh. Aizawa. Oddly enough. And Aizawa are up there currently watching. As... They see Izuku just swimming through this course as if it was nothing. As Aizawa states, that one's got a strong quirk. Ah, yes, young Midoriya. I've been training with him for a while. <laughs> oh, why so, All Might? Uh, he's quirk developed late in life. I found it to be very strong, but he needed some guidance. I gave him some help in training and such, but that's about it. Wait, so you trained him? Yes. How late did it develop? Oh, only a few months ago. A few months, and he's already gotten this much control over it. You're one hell of a teacher. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> As Principal Nezu's going, uh huh, so that's the. Is, mind you, this is in his head. So that's your newest uh, disciple, huh? Alright, I can see, I can see. As time progresses a bit more, and the zero pointers let loose. Something similar happens with Ochako being pin about to be pinned underneath some falling rubble. However, right as she's about to be pinned, a certain blonde-haired girl runs in and shoves her out of the way as soon as possible, causing the rubble to fall on her instead. As... All Might's about to call it in, saying, Nezu, we gotta stop this. Their students are beginning to get hurt because of that thing. Why is it still part of the course? As we cut to the blonde girl. 
she's tearing up a bit, and, well, Uraraka's there trying to get the rubble off, but isn't quite strong enough to lift it and hurt. She's so tired, and her stomach's hurting her so bad, she can't use her quirk on it. She's doing her best as the zero pointer gets ever closer and closer and closer with each thunderous step as it looks like it's about to crush them. The blonde haired girl begins to think back and hears some words. If you're ever in trouble, just say my name and I'll be there. The name's Izuku Midoriya. As she says, why not? As she shouts, Izuku, please help! As, as if right on cue, he... A green, bl a green blur moves in, knocks the rubble off, grabs the two girls from around their, around their stomachs, and hauls ass. We're talking jumps along the building wall, jumps back across the other side of the building wall, a good four, jumps across to another building, and back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, till they're on top of one of those until they're on top of this thing looking the zero pointer well technically around the chest as Azuku looks at them and goes sorry I'm late I tried to get here as fast as I could hey wait how do you know my name oh I remember you man it's been a while I'll talk to you in a minute gotta take care of something as he cracks his neck and pops his arms he goes all right I don't think I'm going to be able to take care of this one with the same amount of power as I did the other ones, so let's try this on for size. See if I still got it. Hmm? As he jumps up into the air and is beginning to fall down, he turns his body to the side, places his right hand into the center of his left palm, and he goes... As the energy begins to gather around him and sparks begin to fly as he says first comes rock as a large amount of energy bursts forth from his right hand as sparks and electricity begin to fly and he cocks it back and lands directly on top of the Zero Pointer's head, bursting straight through, going, Zha Junkin! Going straight through his head, into his chest cavity, and, well, out through the pelvis region of the giant robot. As he then begins to hit the ground, going, Oh no! as he's just barely able to catch himself. And he goes, Whew! That was close. Before he began, and just as I, the, he sees the zero pointer fall, he begins to turn around and walk away. He says, Why am I forgetting? Why does it feel like I'm forgetting something? Oh, crud, the girls! As he quickly gets back his power and charges right back up to where he left the girls. He goes, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Got a little carried away in the fighting. <laughs> As, well, we all know who it is by now. Toga just gives him a big hug and saying, I thought I'd never see you again. Says, I told you if you ever needed my help, give me give my name a holler. Why did I make it sound so country there? I told you if you ever needed my help, just call my name. <laughs> Thank you. 
as Uraraka is standing there looking a bit confused about the strange green-haired boy who just destroyed the giant robot that was said to be, you know, not destructible. And she just goes, okay then. So, uh, should we be heading back down? As Azuku grabs them and, uh, well, basically, mm, how should I put this? Let's just put it this way, Izuku, for as he is currently, he, he, he's not exactly what you would call the brightest individual. He, he basically tosses them both over his shoulder and jumps down from the building. <laughs> Yeah, he, he doesn't care about the moment. He just cares about he just cares about getting them from point A to point B at this time. As he heads straight to where the others are and drops him off with Recovery Girl. As he goes, I hope we get to see more of each other. As they kind of smile, a little bit of blush, and walk away. Again, before I cut this thing off, I'm going to let y'all know now. This is a toga ship. Himika toga ship, okay? Trust me, I am not involving Ochako in this. Well, maybe slightly, but it's only for com well, it's only for dramatic effect. It will not affect the overall story. Well, it'll affect the overall story, but it will not become a harem thing. I'm not usually a big fan of those, mainly because I find them to be a little bit on the cringe side whenever I have to do them. Don't get me wrong, while cringe can be funny at times, eh. Alright, bye for now. Thank you guys for listening in. Have a safe night, and tally-ho!